Hi everybody, today's focus, I am testing Formula 409 to see how well it removes bacteria from my home. Today's video is a viewer request. I received requests to test 409 from Dan Kibler, Fate Wine Roses, and Jake Miller. So 409 is one of those cleaners that my mom always had around my home when I was growing up. So I'm also curious to see how well it removes bacteria. So in order to test how well it does remove bacteria around my home, I'm gonna take a Petri dish just like this guy here and I'm gonna label it A, B, and C. I'm gonna take some sterile swabs and swab various areas around my home, including the kitchen sink, kitchen sink drain, bathroom sink, toilet rim, and place those samples in the section labeled B for before. Then I'm gonna clean according to 409's directions, sample the area again, and place that on the section labeled A for after. C is my control, nothing goes there. So let's see how we're supposed to use Formula 409 to remove bacteria on hard surfaces. So it has a couple of different sets of directions. The first is for general cleaning, where you spray the product straight onto soils, wipe clean with a dry paper towel or lint-free cloth, fine. There are directions then for disinfecting a hard, non-porous surface. It says spray until thoroughly wet. Let stand for 10 minutes. For herpes, influenza, SARS, let stand for 30 seconds. Then wipe. For visibly soiled areas of pre-cleaning is required, that's fine. It does also state that all surfaces that come in contact with food need to be rinsed with water. It says do not use on glasses, dishes, or utensils. That's fine. It also has directions to deodorize and sanitize non-food contact surfaces, in which says spray thoroughly until wet. Let's stand 30 seconds, then wipe. For visibly soiled areas, pre-cleaning is required, and it kills 99.9% .9 of Enterobacter and Staph aureus. Okay, so what I think I'll do is I'll test according to the sanitizing directions, which state to spray until thoroughly wet, uh, let stand for 30 seconds, then wipe. Now, if after I look at those results, there's a lot of bacteria hanging around after those 30 seconds, then I'll continue and I'll do the 10 minute test. So let's see how well Formula 409 removes bacteria from my home. <laughs> Now for some results. Let's look at the results after I sprayed, waited 30 seconds, and then wiped. The kitchen sink. In the before section, we have a tremendous amount of bacteria, and in the after section, there is no bacterial growth at all. So the 409 did an excellent job at removing bacteria from my kitchen sink. The kitchen sink drain. In the before section, we have a tremendous amount of bacteria, and in the after section, there is no bacterial growth at all. So again, the 409 did an excellent job of removing the bacteria from my kitchen sink drain. 
The bathroom sink. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, we see no bacterial growth. So the 409 did an excellent job at removing bacteria from my bathroom sink. The toilet rim. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. There's a lot of growth there. It even started to move over a little bit into the after section. But in the after section, we can see no bacterial growth, except that little part that moved over that was from the before section. So I had a bit of a technical difficulty with my microphone as I was recording this part of my video. It just started giving me some really strong background like sound, staticky sounds. So I am going to just re-record this part um, just on my cell phone so I can just get this video uploaded. So 409 did what I expected it to do. It did a really good job of removing the bacteria from my bathroom and my kitchen. Since it did so well at the 30 second test, I chose to not test it again with the 10 minute wait time because it did a great job of removing the bacteria at 30 seconds. I also decided to test how well it removes grease. So I had a pan where I had cooked some chicken thighs and I put it on my stovetop to get some of the grease onto the stovetop. And I uh, tested it by just spraying and wiping. The 409 did a fantastic job at wiping up the grease. There was no grease left over when I sprayed and I just did one pass with paper towel wipe. So it did a good job at removing grease as well. Now as for the scent of 409, there is no scent listed on the package. So it doesn't say that it's lemon scent or lavender scent or mountain breeze or anything like that. But if you watch my videos, you know that I am not a big fan of strong caustic scents. Yes, the scent is strong. It is a strong chemical smell. It does make me cough. It's just, it is what it is. Um, I, it, it's, it's not the kind of product that I would like to use in a large amount cleaning my home sporadically here and there. I'm fine with it, but uh, and I will finish the bottle because I do uh, make sure I finish the bottles of the products that I do purchase so there is no waste, but it's just really not the kind of scent that I particularly like and I don't like coughing when I am cleaning. Okay, so it seems like at this part of the video, the static sound is gone. So back to my original recording. Overall, 409 did an excellent job at removing the bacteria from both my bathroom and my kitchen hard surfaces with just a 30 second wait time. So when it comes to bacterial removal, it does a great job. And when it comes to grease removal, it does a great job. I personally just don't care for the scent of it. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comment section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list. Or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email. That's also in the description below so that I know it's from you and so that I know I should check my mailbox. I did receive a method cleaner from someone and I do not know who it's from. I have not tested it yet because I'm really hoping that person can come forward and tell me who they are so we can have a conversation about it before I conduct my testing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.